are a number of ways that healthcare providers can help patients better access the care that they need. For example, cancer care is expensive and connecting patients to resources that can assist with accessing and paying for their care can help mitigate the financial burden of a cancer diagnosis. Those resources include drug discount cards or patient assistance programs offered by states or pharmaceutical companies or assistance programs offered by private organizations. It's also helpful to make sure that the services you're referring your patients to, like labs or imaging facilities, are in their insurance company's network of providers. This can help keep patients' out-of-pocket costs lower. Healthcare providers can also help patients by checking to make sure that a patient doesn't need prior authorization from their insurance company before receiving care. Insurance companies aren't required to pay for care if it wasn't approved in advance. Patients may also experience a denial of coverage from an insurance company at some point during their treatment. And while many take no for an answer, appealing the denial may allow a patient to access the care that was prescribed by their healthcare team. There are internal appeals where you can go back to the insurance company and ask them to reconsider. And there are external appeals where you can go outside the insurance company to an independent entity to ask them if they think that the care is medically necessary. And when a patient is denied coverage by their insurance company, there are a number of ways that providers can help. For example, providers can ask for a peer review, write letters of medical necessity, or share the latest research on treatment protocols, to explain why a patient needs access to the prescribed treatment. Healthcare providers can even file the appeal on behalf of their patient. And finally, it's important to note that even if an insurance company does deny care because the treatment was experimental or investigational, or simply says it's not a covered benefit, there's still an opportunity to appeal that decision and show that the care is medically necessary. As many as 60% of external appeals are decided in favor of patients, making them a useful tool to improve access to care and mitigate financial toxicity.